Hey guys, this is Alrighty Then, and today's video is going to be how to repair the vibrating noise that you get coming out of a 2014 a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I believe they're between 2010 and or 2010 2015 is the year that that happens. But the windshield cowl. the windshield cowl after a while it starts to get dry rotted and the seal doesn't press up against the windshield hard enough and so when you're driving at high speeds uh, there's a particular speed at which it starts to kick in and it starts going it starts to make a buzzing noise it's really annoying and um, it happened after I had pressure washed the the engine bay but what had happened was that over time dirt and debris and leaves and stuff like that built up underneath the cowling so up until I cleaned it there was a buffer there that would prevent the noise from happening but when I cleaned it and I took all that crap out of there then it loosened it and now it was starting to, to vibrate so instead of spending four hundred dollars to buy a new cowl or 250 bucks however much it costs and spending all that time all I'm gonna do is put some auto boat auto marine rubber weather stripping underneath the original rubber piece and that's gonna be that so that's what I'm gonna be doing today it's gonna take a couple minutes to do and I spent like what six dollars on this weather stripping and it's gonna fix the problem it'll seal the area and it'll keep it from vibrating so without further ado let's get started so I've got my weather stripping I've got some paper towels that I'm going to use just to wipe it and a knife to cut the weather stripping. That's it. So, let's, let's get to it. The weather stripping is all loose. You see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lift it up like this and then just put the weather stripping right underneath it and that's going to keep it from vibrating. And I'm actually going to stick it just right on the windshield, right underneath and that should help it so in these areas where it's elevated that should stop it so over time this just gets kind of old and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do now, sorry about the wind noise let me see if I can set up the camera where it's not gonna fall and still see what's going on alright let's get to it
Okay, that was it. So I ran the weather stripping right across underneath that little rubber piece. And uh, instead of spending 400 bucks, I spent, what, $6 to fix that? So now we're going to go for a ride and see if, in fact, I have fixed the problem for uh, about 6 bucks. And the noise is very distinct when you hear it. You can't, uh, you can't miss it, you know? It's a really annoying bzzz, and it comes on and you, you can hear it coming right out of here, right in that area here. So this car is usually really quiet, nice. It's a nice ride, really quiet. It's a great car, I love this little truck. This is my wife's car. And like I said, after I cleaned it, it started to make this awful vibrating noise, which she was just, couldn't stand. It was driving her crazy. So finally I got it on my honey-do list. So we're on the highway now. Just made it to the highway. I'm gonna go see if it happens at, an, at a given speed. So you can hear the engine. Usually it would start kicking on right about now. At this speed it would have been happening already. And so there you have it guys. No rattling noise for a $6 fix. Okay, so uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out when you guys do that. Um, we'll see you on the next video.